This morning's Coffee With is with Katie Strickland and Emmanuel Chiqui. And the satellite interview is furnished by Hulu. <laughs> this morning we have the women of Shut Eye, a new drama on Hulu. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thanks Thank for being you. with us. This show is so interesting. Let's see, a magician turned psychic who actually starts having real visions. Tell us a little bit more about it and also your characters. Well, it's really exciting because I'd never seen this story. That was one of the things I fell in love with. I'm uh, the wife of and sometimes palmist and very bad magician and sometimes a very bad person, uh, which is a lot of fun to play. And then this gorgeous woman over here to my left. I, I play Gina, the hypnotist that comes from Vegas trying to get a job with this gorgeous woman to my right and Jeffrey Donovan's character and I have a bit of a shady past which is also very fun to play. <laughs> <laughs> this lines up with something Katie you said in another interview where your character is not three-dimensional but eight-dimensional. <laughs> yeah, Linda's, Linda's about as much of a piece of work as one could come close to an atypical depressive self-proclaimed housewife and a woman who has a lot on her plate in terms of her desires and in terms of really looking at where they are. There's this beautiful line that starts the show where Jeffrey's giving someone a reading and he says, you're at a crossroads. And I think that's where you find all of these people when you meet them. And I really was excited to see the avenues that Linda was going to take me down. She's also a mother. So some of the things that she does expressing in all those different facets, uh, it just kept me on my toes the entire time and in, in a way that I loved creating who she was in every given moment that she had on screen. The show gives us this yeah. inside look at the world of fortune telling, which seems really fascinating. How much of it is, you know, true and based on what it's like, you know, in real in the real world? Well, we had a lot of proper research and we actually had Romani non-gypsy gypsy people experts. who we yeah. had experts that sort of took us through that historic past and and where they are now culturally and they're different all over the world I mean mm -hmm. in the states they're very different than they express in Europe and certainly in Canada where we filmed so we had that in our back pocket and we had uh, an in-house tarot reader psychic that we were able to refer to and we were then given we were given a book when we started the process called the confidence game that really allowed us to see in the mind of a con artist which was extraordinary and sort of devastating to learn all the ways that we have been taken advantage of as people and can take advantage so that was really super helpful to me in my research but I also you have a different, uh, she has a yeah. whole different bent because of the hypnotism. Exactly. So I, as being, uh, I worked with a hypnotherapist for many, many years, which was this kind of cool art imitating life, life imitating mm -hmm. art moment. And she definitely gave me some techniques that I could use and incorporate when I'm doing the hypnosis on Jeffrey's character. You know, stuff like mirroring and, and linguistic stuff. So it was fun to be able to use that as well. Which I tried to steal from you because I thought uh, Linda's going to steal and use anything she can at any given moment, so I'll do that too, which was fun. That's so interesting. So you both have had your fortunes read? Absolutely. Yes. Anything enlightening that you found out or interesting or shocking or anything? Well, during this process, when I had it done, I had it done by a gypsy woman and it was... Um, <laughs> so uh, unrealistic based hmm. on who I am as a woman because I went in knowing that they look for identifiable things and I made sure I didn't have anything identifiable about me and uh, oh, that's <laughs> you know I was gonna meet the man of my dreams which <laughs> I've already done and I actually <laughs> asked her after she gave me the whole spiel so should I tell my husband <laughs> which sort of felt like did I really just do that? I did. Because <laughs> I couldn't believe. And, you know, she turned it around so quickly. She actually made it about this person that I was going to meet that she'd told me about, this man of my dreams, was an old friend of my husband, and we were going to help him. Wow. So she totally manipulated the circumstance in a way that is what we've learned they do. Right. And, I mean, you know, I think it's pretty culturally. You can find them anywhere, certainly in Los Angeles where the show's set. 
you can't drive more than a mile without hitting another one right there on the periphery of your vision so, as you're in the yeah, car. It's, it's everywhere. Unbelievable. And it really is. I mean, there's such an art form to the cons that they do. I think it really straddles that line of like, is this real? Is this not real? You know, especially somebody who's very good at it. Mm -hmm. It's a fascinating world and we can't wait to see it in Shut Eye, which is now available on Hulu to binge, watch at your pleasure, whatever you want. So thank you ladies for joining us to talk about it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Have a good day. Thanks.